Hello everyone, you all are welcome back to our YouTube channel, Let's go and our science. If you are new to here and want to learn about the food processing technology, please hit the subscribe followed by the bell. Today we are going to talk about thickening agents, emulsifiers, emulsifying salts, flavor enhancers and preservatives. Thickening agents or thickeners are substances which when added to an aqueous mixture increase its viscosity without substantially modifying its other properties such as taste. They provide body increased stability and improve suspension of added ingredients. Thickeners tend to be odorless and tasteless because they are used in small quantities. They contribute few to no calories. They are derived primarily from natural sources like plants and seaweeds. Others are produced using bacterial fermentation or chemical modification. Bleach, starch, beeswax, calcium alginate, calcium chloride are some examples for thickening agents. Soup, sauces, gravies, curries, ice cream, salad dressings are some food applications of thickness emulsifiers they are type of food additives that plays an essential role in physiochemical properties of natural and processed foods they affect their viscosity texture and mouth feel emulsifiers uniformly disperse oil soluble flavor compounds throughout a product also, they prevent large ice crystal formation in frozen product, for an example, ice cream. Also, they improve the volume, uniformity and fineness of bakery products. Ammonium salt of phosphatidic acid, bleached starch, Candela wax and dye-starch phosphate are some examples for emulsifiers. Mayonnaise, margarine, meat, ice cream, salad dressing, chocolate, peanut butter are some examples for food applications for emulsifiers. Then, let's see what are the emulsifying salts. Emulsifying salts are ionic compounds made up of monovalent cations and polyvalent anions. Mainly, processed cheese manufacturing industry use emulsifying salts. The primary function of emulsifying salts in processed cheese manufacturing are pH adjustment and improve the emulsification properties of casein by sequestering the calcium from the insoluble calcium paracasinate phosphate network present in natural cheese. Tricalcium citrate, tripotassium citrate, trisodium citrate are some examples for emulsifying salts. Beverage, bakery products, sauces, seasoning, condiments and soups are some examples for food applications of emulsifying salts. Flavor enhancers. They are compounds that are added to a food in order to supplement or enhance its own natural flavor. Flavor enhancers are used to bring out the flavor in a wide range of foods without adding a flavor of their own. Monosodium glutamate, bromelain, dipotassium 5 granulate, dipsodium 5 granulate are some examples for flavor enhancers. Soft drinks, baked goods, jelly, syrups, condiments are some examples of for flavor enhancers. We have discussed about preservatives during our previous videos. If you need to learn about preservatives, you can watch our previous contents. I have included them in the description. So this is the end of food additives video series. You can learn more about them through books, research papers and or any other learning material. 
If you found this video useful, please give it thumbs up and subscribe for videos just like this. Hope to catch you in next time. Thanks for watching.